Everything's the same. <laughs> well, that's no good. You need to think of something. Yes. Quick, you're recording. Um, <laughs> come here. That's all right. What we'll do is we'll just. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> oh no! How do I unzoom? Do we go? Over towards me. I had it accidentally on Zoom. That's why you went all funny. <laughs> but so what we'll do is we'll just find interesting things as we're walking back to campus. It's like our posters. I don't think it can it's see upside it. down. No. Ah. See? One dollar between eight and nine PM, that's a good that's a bargain. That's a steal. Well, I almost feel like that we're gonna get in trouble for that. <laughs> They're having such cheap liquor. I know, it's like we're stealing it. And to reinforce that we're stealing it, owners are calling the police on us. Honestly, I've got nothing to say. Um, uh, train working overhead. Got some girth to it. Americans, Chris just made note about a tall building, which, I mean, I'm not saying it is tall, I'm just saying he's probably not used to it, being from Seattle and all. It's a small, it's a small city. He's probably not, probably not used to. Yeah, there's no tall buildings at all really? in Seattle. Really? They stop at like level 25 and that's it? 25, you're fucked, you're lucky yes. to get that high. <laughs> really, in Seattle? It's Kidding. like... I wonder if this is more... The Columbia Tower can rival your Eureka. I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> that was really, really close to your face. I know. And now you're getting really close to mine. <laughs> Cafe Euro? I thought you were trying to break away from Europe. We're not like you people. We don't, we don't start wars with people. You start war with Britain to become a country, then you start war with Iraq to make them a country. All in the space of a year. <laughs> that was quick, yeah, according to a movie I saw. For one year. Yeah. And in that time, we've invaded <laughs> two countries. Yeah. So that was the big... That was here. According to this movie I saw with Mel Gibson in it. And you know, we control Canada. Oh really? I mean, you know, they're technically independent, but you know, really? we, we tell them who their Prime Minister has to be. Really? So, Stephen Harper? Which, you, of course, you knew who the Prime Minister of yes, Canada was. I already, I did do that. Did you know that? Yes. Did you really? Yes. Because <laughs> I knew that. I knew who your Prime Minister was before many of your own fucking Australians knew who it was. Really? Who was it? Tim Root. Okay. Say, what's his last name? Don't make me say it, because I'm sure you're pronouncing it wrong. Root? Rudd? Rudd. Rudd. Kevin Rudd. What the fuck ever? I told you not to say it. No, but we were on the tram in Melbourne on Swanson Street. And we were asking people who was the prime minister, and they're like, John Howard. Oh no no no! There's a new guy. Uh, I don't remember what his name is though. So. I was like, that's pretty shitty. I mean, like, you know, when we hold an election in America, everyone pretty much knows the day of who the new president is. He doesn't even become president until January the next year, so... Well, okay, find the president-elect. You happy now? Mm. That's a hook right turn. This is a hook left. This is a newspaper stand. Mm. Sells newspapers. Starbucks. That's a Starbucks. Sells coffee. Being from Seattle, being from Seattle, you're not aware of what coffee's like. It's a foreign substance to us. <laughs> it's like, you know, people in Seattle don't know what marijuana is either. Oh, really? No. Oh. No one smokes marijuana in Seattle. Really? And, and no premarital sex either? No. Oh, no. Because that's no, no, no. banned by the Bible. Yes. Our governor is very strict on that shit. Really? Very strict. 
she personally patrols the streets. <laughs> With a bad hand. Yes. <laughs> Every Friday, Sunday night. She flies off <laughs> underage teenagers from each other. <laughs> and sends them home a for a good spanking. I don't know if he's being sarcastic or not. Have you seen our governor? She is no. one hard, cold bitch. And that's the McDonald's, which Americans used to get food from. That's the only place they can get food from in America. Is that true? Yes. <laughs> that's the only place we get our dinner from. Really? Not breakfast. Breakfast that comes from Krispy Kreme. The donut place? Yes. Really, you have donuts for breakfast? Ridiculous. Well, what do you have? I have toast. So hey, we should find this aloe vera toast? place. Where are you going? We should find if they've got the aloe vera in it. The aloe vera drink. Oh. Shut up. I know what you're thinking. I'm not thinking anything. Liar. Here. Fuck you. Fuck oh you. God. It actually, isn't that Fuck you. We should buy it. I don't want to buy that nasty shit. Well, we don't know how bad it is. I look at all the ingredients: aloe vera, water. How much is it? Too much. It doesn't even say, it doesn't even have a price tag on it. <laughs> Let's get how shitty it is. They, they had to sell it for whatever people they offer to pay for it. Jesus. They make quality laxative, smooth skin, and energy enhancement. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> I'm not keen enough to buy it. Do you want it? No. Oh, there is a natural drink. I can't believe that. No, I can't, yeah, no, I can't believe there is actually a drink. Now don't question me in the future. I'm renowned as the one who knows everything. OPSM is an eyeglass shop. Um, I don't know what that is. Post. I don't know what the post office is. <laughs> no one uses post anymore, it's all an email. The only Is thing you really? get the post are like bills and junk mail. Really? Do you guys love your, you guys get a heap of junk mail though. You guys love your junk mail. You guys get there's actually it is such a big problem that they actually created a federal program to reduce junk mail. Oh really? Yes. What's it called? I don't know. It's like the, the federal do program. not call list or something. I'm on the do not call list. list or something like that. It's like the federal government started it to help reduce uh, the amount of people who get junk mail and the amount of people who get. Um, they have the, to do not call list here. I'm on it, so I don't get any. Um, I don't get any callers like that. Sorry. Nothing. Sorry. Nothing. I don't get any callers like that. Yeah, you know the solicitors. Yeah. That's the other thing that they focus to help reduce is that if you don't get solicitors to sign up on the uh, do not call. And now there's companies that will actually accept your mail for you, and they will sort your mail for you between your junk mail and your needed mail, and then they'll upload it on the internet. How lazy do you have to be that you need somebody to sort your mail for you? And they'll upload your, your mail all on the internet, so you never actually have to receive your mail. You just go online and you just look at your mail online. They scan it all in and everything, and if you want the paper copy, then they'll send you your copy. Good. I didn't do anything. Wow, I've never seen someone in a burqa before. In a what? The lady was in the car, she was wearing a full burqa. Oh, uh, yeah, you see that. You see that in Australia. How did we still not get a car? <laughs> I don't think we pressed the button. No, it's already lit up. No, it's always lit up. Oh. I thought it was lit up because it was telling you that it recognizes that you want to go. <laughs> I wonder where the girls are.